Good morning everyone! The purpose of this video is to review concepts of math assignments given. For lesson number one, we are to multiply a whole number and a fraction. For our first example, we are given 3 times 2 third. 2 third is the fraction and 3 is your whole number. To make 3 a fraction, we are going to write 1, as always as the denominator. So we're going to write it this way. 3 over 1 times 2 thirds, which is equal to, we multiply the numerators, 3 times 2, which is equal to 6, and 1 times 3, which is equal to 3. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. There is also another way in multiplying a whole number and a fraction, and that way is to have it written in an addition equation. So we go back to our example. Our fraction is 2 thirds. It says 3 times 2 thirds. To write this as an addition equation, we are going to write two-thirds three times. Yes, write it three times. So we will have two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds. For adding fractions, we don't add the denominators. We simply copy it. So in this example, we have 3 as the common denominator. Write it down. All you have to do is to add the numerator. So 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Again, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So clearly, whichever method you use, whether to multiply it or to add it using an addition equation, you will arrive at the same answer. Now let's have another example. So I will have here example 2. So we will do 4 times 4 fifth. Again, your 4 fifth is your fraction. The 4 is your whole number. So we will make 4 a fraction by writing down 1 as the denominator. So we will have 4 divided by 1 times 4 fifth. So again, we multiply 4 times 4, which is 16, and 1 times 5, which is equal to 5. So we have 16 over 5. To get the answer and also the lowest term, I will show you how to divide 16 over 5. So your 16, which is the numerator, will become the dividend. And 5, which is your denominator, will become your divisor. Don't switch the two numbers. It won't work. So 16 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Then 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Then you subtract. You will have 16 minus 15 is equal to 1. Your remainder 1 is very important. This remainder will become your numerator. So this becomes the numerator. We put it here. And the 5 which is your divisor, will become your denominator. Let me write it down. So it will be 5. There you go. So 16 divided by 5 is equal to 3 and 1 fifth. Now, let's go to our addition equation like what I did in the first example. So our original numbers are 4 times 4 fifth. 
So how many times are we going to add four fifth? Yes, we are going to add it four times. So we can write it down as four fifth plus four fifth plus four fifth plus four fifth. There you are. Again, we are not right, we are not adding the denominator, but simply copy it, which is five. All you have to add are the fours. So you will have four plus four is eight, plus four is twelve, plus four is sixteen. So you will have sixteen over five. So sixteen over five, or divided by five, as I've shown you up here, is equals to three and one fifth. Hope this is a blessing to all of you, and I will see you in my next video.